You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Hello kids, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be looking at addition and subtraction of directed numbers. If you want to get the best out of this video, then you have to practice along with me. So go get your pen and your paper because it's time to learn maths in a fun and easy way. First of all, you would ask, what are directed numbers? Directed numbers are positive and negative numbers. For instance, plus 4 or minus 5. If I have a line and I want to add numbers to this line, let me start with 0. Is 0 the smallest number that we have? No. We have numbers that are smaller than 0. If you are coming to the left of this number line, you would have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and so on, right? And after 0, there are other bigger numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So, to the right of 0, we have positive numbers. And to the left of zero, we have negative numbers. So these are directed numbers. And we call this line a number line. Okay? So if, for instance, someone has no money, let me use money to explain what directed numbers are. If someone has no money, how many naira does he have? Zero naira, right? So here, zero represents no money. Now, what if someone is owing, maybe he's owing four Naira? How many Naira does he have? He has minus four Naira because he's owing, right? Now, what if someone has three Naira? Then this three represents three Naira. So you can see that the biggest, the one that has more money is the one with three Naira, the one that has the second largest money is the one with no money at all because he has more money than this person that has that is owing four Naira. Now, what if someone is owing four Naira and then you give him ten Naira? How much money would he have left? So this is what we want to learn in this video, addition and subtraction of directed numbers. In this case, this will be minus 4 plus 10. And this is going to give us plus 6. So I'm going to explain in this video how we do this kind of addition. Are you ready? Let's jump right in. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. The first thing you need to know when adding and subtracting directed numbers is some simple rules. Simple rules. The first rule to know is how to open brackets. So if you are adding, the sign inside the bracket remains the same. So if we have minus 5, opening these brackets, we simply have minus 5. The sign remains the same. If it is plus 5 that is inside the bracket, when you open the bracket, it will still be plus 5. So when adding, to open the bracket, you simply leave the signs the same. But when subtracting, the sign change. Okay? So if we have minus 5, this becomes plus 5. If we have plus 5, this becomes minus 5. I think this rules about opening brackets is very easy, right? Now let's move on to how to combine two directed numbers. Let's say we have two positive numbers. Plus 3, plus 5. What you need to do is just to add the numbers. 3 plus 5, that will give you 8, right? And since the signs are positive, you have plus 8. What about if you have plus 
3 minus 5. When you have different signs, plus, minus, what you need to do is to subtract. So you, you subtract the small one from the bigger one, would have 2, right? And then the sign that you put here will be the sign of the bigger number. So this is going to be minus 2. Easy, right? Now, what if you have minus 3, minus 5? Just the same way you did in this first one, where you have same signs, you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to add 3 plus 5 is 8. For the sign, since it's negative, this will be minus 8. All right? Now, what if you are subtracting 0? Maybe you have minus 3, minus 0. What would this give you? When you're subtracting or adding 0, the number remains the same. So this is going to be minus 3. If you're adding 0, it will still be plus 3, right? So the number remains unchanged when adding or subtracting 0. So with these simple rules, there will be no addition or subtraction of directed numbers that will be too difficult for you to do. The next thing we are going to do is to move on to some practice questions and see how well we've learned this topic. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Question 1. Minus 6 plus minus 9. When I bring up a question, the first thing you need to do is to attempt the question before watching my explanation. So with this, we'll first open the bracket. Minus 6, if you have positive outside the bracket, the sign inside remains the same, right? The sign inside remains the same. So we have minus 6, minus 9. Now when you have minus, minus, you simply add the numbers, right? 6 plus 9 is 15, and then it will take negative because this is minus, minus, right? And so our answer is minus 15. Did you get it? You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Question 2. Minus 4 plus 0. Easy, right? Remember, when you are subtracting or adding 0, the number remains the same. So this is going to be minus 4. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Question 3, minus 9, minus 4. Remember, when you have minus, minus, you simply add. 9 plus 4 is 13, and then the answer takes a negative. I'm sure you got this one. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Question 4, minus 8, minus, minus 3, plus 10. The first thing we are going to do is to open the brackets, right? So we have minus 8, minus, we change the sign inside the bracket. So that will be plus 3, plus 10. So this is going to be, we are going to take them 2 by 2. So first of all, let's take minus 8 plus 3. Now when the signs are different, you find the difference between them, which will be 8 minus 3, that will be 5. And then the answer will take the sign of the bigger number. So this will be minus 5, then plus 10. Again, the signs are different, so we take the difference between the two numbers. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then the sign will be the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. So this is going to be plus 5. I hope you got this one. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Question 5. Minus 16 plus minus 12 minus minus 8. So first thing we're going to do is to open the bracket. So we have minus 16. Positive doesn't change the sign inside the bracket. So we still have minus 12. Negative changes the sign inside the bracket. So this becomes plus 8. Now we take them two at a time. M minus 16 minus 12. If the signs are the same, all you need to do is to add the number. So we have 12 plus 16. That will give us 28. And then this will take a negative sign because this is negative, negative, right? 
then plus 8. If the signs are different, minus plus, you take the difference between the two numbers, so that will be 28 minus 8. So that will be 20. And then the sign will be the sign of the bigger number. Minus 20 is the answer. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Welcome back. I hope you are attempting the questions before watching my explanation. Question 6. Minus 11 minus minus 6 plus 9. The first thing we are going to do is to open the bracket. So this is going to be minus 11. Minus changes the sign inside the bracket. So this will be plus 6 plus 9. And then we'll take 2 at a time. Minus 11 plus 6. Now these signs are different. So we'll find the difference between the two numbers. 11 minus 6 is 5. And the answer, we take the sign of the bigger number. So this will be minus 5 plus 9. The signs are different, so we find the difference between the two numbers. 9 minus 5 is 4. And we take the sign of the bigger number, which is plus 4. Interesting, right? You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Welcome back. We are still adding and subtracting directed numbers. This is for those in primary 4, 5, and 6. Question 7. Minus 50 plus 35 minus minus 10. So the first thing we are going to do is to open the brackets. We have minus 50 plus 35. Minus changes the sign inside the bracket. So that will be plus 10. Now we take them two at a time. Minus 50 plus 35. We have different signs. So we take the difference between the two numbers. 50 minus 35 is 15. And then... This we take the sign of the bigger number. Then we have plus 10. Again, we have different signs. So we find the difference between 15 and 10. That will be 5. And then it will take the sign of the bigger number, which is minus. So our answer is minus 5. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. I hope you're enjoying this video. Question 8. 50 plus minus 36 minus minus 24. The first thing we are going to do is to open the brackets. So we have 50 positive doesn't change the sign inside the bracket. So that remains minus 36. Negative changes the sign inside the bracket. So that will be plus 24. Now we take them two at a time. 50 minus 36. That will be 14. Then plus 24. 14 plus 24 is what? It's 38, right? And so our answer is 38. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Yeah, we are making progress. Question number 9. Minus 240 plus minus 80 minus 60. It's getting tougher, right? So first of all, we are going to open the bracket. Minus 240... Plus doesn't change the sign inside the bracket. So that remains minus 80 and then minus 60. So we take them two at a time. Minus, minus. We we'll need to add this. 240 plus 80, that will be 320. Right? And then we take the sign minus because this is minus, minus. Then minus 60. We do the same thing here. We are going to add 320 and 60. That will be 380. And then we take the sign minus. And so our answer is minus 380. I hope you are attempting the question before watching my explanation. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. By now, you must have mastered the simple rules. That's why I had to clean them. So question 10, 500 minus 200 plus minus 300 minus minus 50. So the first thing we are going to do is to open the brackets. 500 minus 200 plus doesn't change the sign inside the brackets, right? So we still have minus 300, but negative changes the sign inside the brackets. So this changes to plus, 
plus 50. So we take them two at a time. 500 minus 200 is what? 300. We have 300 minus 300 plus 50. Again, two at a time. 300 minus 300. That will be zero. So we have zero plus 50. And of course, when you're adding zero to anything, you still have that thing, right? So this is going to be 50. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Question 11. Minus 49 minus minus 32 plus minus 7. Let's open the brackets. We have minus 49. Minus changes the sign inside the bracket, so this be plus 32. Plus doesn't change the sign inside the bracket, so we still have minus 7. Now, minus 49 plus 32. What do we do? Since the signs are different, we find the difference between the two numbers. 49 minus 32. 9 minus 2 is 7. 4 minus... 3 is 1. And so we take the sign of the bigger number. So this is going to be minus 17. Then minus 7. Now when the signs are the same, you add the numbers, right? So 17 plus 7, that is going to give us 24. And then the answer we take negative because this is minus minus. So our answer is minus 24. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. It's getting tougher, right? Now we have fractions to deal with. Minus 4 over 5, minus 3 over 7, plus minus 1 over 2. Now you don't need to worry whether you have numbers or fractions to deal with. All you need to do is to apply those simple rules that we learned earlier. First thing we are going to do is to open the bracket. So we have minus 4 over 5, minus 3 over 7. Now remember, positive doesn't change the sign inside the bracket, so that will still be minus 1 over 2. Good. Now when you are adding or subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, what do you do? You find the LCM of the denominator. So we are going to find the LCM of 5, 7, and 2. That will give us... 70, right? So the LCM of 5, 7, and 2 is 70. Then we say 5 into 70. 5 into 70 is 14. 14 times 4 is 56, right? Then this minus. So we have minus 56. Then we say 7 into 70 is 10. 10 times 3. Is 30 so we have minus 30 and then we say 2 into 70 is 35 35 times 1 is minus 35 good so we take them two at a time at the numerator minus 56 minus 30 the signs are the same we add the numbers 56 plus 30 is 86 then we take the negative sign right so we have minus 86 minus 35 over 70. Now, minus 86 minus 35. The signs are the same, so we add 36 plus 35 plus 86. That will give us 1, 2, 1. And then we take minus. So we have minus 1, 2, 1 over 70. Now, minus 1, 2, 1 over 70. How many times? This is an improper fraction, so we have to change it to a mixed number. We ask, how many times will 70 go into 121? It will go just once. So we have one whole number, remaining 51, which 70 will still share. So we have one whole number, 51 over 70. But don't forget your minus sign. So this is going to be minus one whole number, 51 over 70. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. 
And now to our final question for this video. We still have fraction to deal with 11 over 9 plus 4 over 7 minus minus 1 over 3. You know how we do it. Attempt the question before me. First, I would open the bracket. 11 over 9 plus 4 over 7 minus changes the sign inside the bracket. So this will be plus 1 over 3. Now the denominators are different. So what do we do? We look for the LCM of the denominator. LCM of 9, 7, and 3. That will be 63, right? 63. So we say 9 into 63. It will be 7. 7 times 11 is 77. 7 into 63. It will be 9. 9 times 4 is 36. And then... 3 into 63, that will be 21. 21 times 1 is 21. All right? At the numerator, we would add, let's take them two at a time. 77 plus 36. 7 plus 6 is 13. All right, 3 and take 1 here. 7 plus 3 is 10 plus that 1 is 11. So we have 113 plus 21 over 63. So here we would have 113 plus 21. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then 1 here. So we have 134 over 63. This is an improper fraction, so we need to change it to a mixed number. How many times will this 63 go into 134? I think it will go twice, right? That will be 126. It will go twice and we'll be left with 8. So this will be 2 whole number, 8 over 63. Interesting. I enjoyed this video series. I hope you did. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. All right, I will see you next time where we'll be looking at another interesting maths topic. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher.